With the legislative session about three months away, there's already talk from Florida Senate leaders about expanding the parental rights and education bill, which critics call don't say gay. All of this to cover additional grade levels. But no matter what happens in Tallahassee, one local high school student and member of the LGBTQ community says she won't let anything stop her. WPTV education reporter Stephanie Suskind shares her story of standing out and fitting in. Homecoming may have been months ago here at West Boca High School, but winning Homecoming King as a female left a lasting impression on Taylor, showing her it was bigger than that one moment. Look at me now, after you sign that. As a member of the LGBTQ community, Taylor Edelman says she wasn't thinking too much of it when she and a friend decided to run for Homecoming King and Queen until she got some backlash. There was a couple of guys on the bleachers, like at the top, like laughing, and I could like see them making fun of me. And I, there was people posting online, like a girl shouldn't run for king, and a lot of people reposting it and like agreeing. And then that's when I realized like, if I'm getting hate, I'm clearly doing something you know, right, like I'm doing something that I should be doing. She campaigned just like any other king candidate, and then it was homecoming night. King is It was insane. I don't even know how to like express that emotion. It felt like a dream. What did that mean to you? A lot. And it meant a lot to other people too. I had like a lot of support afterwards, which was really cool. It blocked out everybody that was hating. It was awesome. What made it more significant to Taylor, her win was on the heels of the state passing the parental rights and education bill known to critics as don't say gay. How have things like that impacted you? It makes me feel closeted almost it makes me feel smaller um, that people can't express like how they feel but now one of the first thoughts in my head was I just stepped all over that bill and it being written in the same year that I won just made it like 10 times better that but I've got her crown mounted above her bed and I've got her banner hanging next to her TV and it's I'm super proud while her dad says he had some concerns for the reaction from others at first love for his daughter melted that away. She's taken the step to step outside the bounds of the norms to be herself be true to herself that she's got a voice she's got the intelligence and she's got the popularity to get to where she wants to go all that and she's got a loving home and environment to grow out of. Taylor hopes this can show others they don't have to be afraid to be who they are. It's been amazing. I'm so happy that like it could happen and not even just because I won but like I feel like a lot of people really need to like see that like they can do it too. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5. Well, during a meeting with the local legislative delegation last week, the school board spoke about priorities for this upcoming session, and that included asking legislators not to enact new laws that would negatively impact students because of their gender, race, religion, or ethnicity.